Hello, I'm Brian, and my classification project is about predicting the success of Kickstarter campaigns. Kickstarter is an online crowdfunding platform to help content creators receive funding for their ideas in order to bring them into reality. Anyone around the globe can fund these ideas. My project aims to predict whether a project will be a success defined by a campaign reaching or exceeding their goals, or a failure defined by um, a campaign that's failed to reach their goal. The Kickstarter data is downloaded from webrobots.io and Kaggle, uploaded into AWS, and sorted using SQL Alchemy. This, the data sets are then combined together to encompass uh, projects from 2009 till 2018. The features that I um, analyzed are, um, are both categorical and continuous features. The main categories that I analyzed would be such as games and designs, subcategories such as tabletop games, and country such as the United States. The continuous uh, variables that I analyzed were the US dollar goals and then also the campaign duration in days. This world map shows all the countries that Kickstarter operates in. If I click on the specific country, it shows the number of pledgers, the success and failure rates, and it sorts its popular categories. For example, in America, games is the most popular category, while in Canada, it is design. Within my logistic regression model, I tested three different metrics namely precision, recall, and F1. Precision minimizes false positives, which means that the model predicts a success when it in fact fails. And recall minimizes erroneously predict, uh, an erroneous predictions that it will fail. Both are important in F1 score. We care about precision because content creators and donors invest a lot of time and money into their campaign and need their expectations to meet, match reality. Recall is important for the Kickstarter campaign to accurately determine which campaigns to promote in their algorithm. Since both precision and recall are important, I chose F1 score. Um, I tested three different models, namely Random Forest, KNN, and Logistic Regression. Then I compared their F1 score, as you can see here, and finally decided on logistic regression. Here. This application picks in a main category, let's say games, subcategory of tabletop games, duration of the campaign, let's say 14 days, and the campaign goal to be $100. Is this Kickstarter a success or fail? My model says it is. But now let's say we set that model to a huge mm -hmm. campaign goal. My Kickstarter uh, pr uh, model predicts that it will be a fail. In the end, I have a four prong insight. A note of caution here that correlation does not equal causation. But my, according to my model, the trends that I notice are to keep time frame short, set a low US dollar goal so that people are actually able to achieve that threshold, and that category matters. Also to note is that the majority of uh, Kickstarter is focused on the USA market. So you should also like probably fine tune your, uh, your projects based off of that. For future work, I would like to combine my project one and two ideas, honing in on Kickstarter campaigns within the board game category. 
Um, so that concludes my presentation. But for those of you who are interested, I included additional diagrams in my appendix, such as my confusion matrix, my RLC AUC curve, and also insights from other models that I could not um, do off of logistic regression. Any questions? <laughs>